Happy Tuesday, dolphins and butterflies. It's summer and it's hot. Sometimes I feel like I'm melting when I'm outside. I get all sweaty. It makes me wonder what things actually melt in the sun. Let's conduct an experiment today to help us answer this question. Today you'll need a muffin tin, a timer, a piece of paper, and a writing utensil. In your muffin tin, you will need 12 objects. Today, you don't have to use the same objects as me, but this is what I'm using. I'm using popcorn kernels, a piece of cheese, a quarter, a crayon, a piece of soap, I'm going to put an ice cube here, marshmallows, a paper clip, butter, a Lego, chocolate, and I'm going to put a rock here once I'm outside. Have an adult help you set up a chart like this to help you make predictions and record your results. Make your predictions before you go outside if you think each of your objects will melt in the sun. You can write a yes or a no. Take your tray out in the sun and set your timer for 10 minutes. You can watch your objects or you can run around, play, and then come back when it rings. When your timer rings, come back and write down your results. If you're patient and let it sit outside a while longer, you might see results like this. It looks like my butter melted all the way. My chocolate, it's glistening. It looks like if it was out there even longer, it would start melting. Oh my gosh, look at it. I just put my hand on it and it just broke apart. Yum. Mm. My Lego stayed the same. My marshmallows. They feel kind of crusty, actually. Like, the outsides are crispier than they were. My ice is completely melted. My soap feels the same. I feel that my crayon is warmer, but it wasn't hot enough to melt it like my hair dryer. My quarter is fine. Look at how much my cheese is sweating. Ooh. And the kernels are still solid. Compare your predictions with your results. Which objects were you right about? Which objects did something different than what you predicted? I can't wait to hear about and see your results. Good luck, scientists.